Hey traders, it's Palmer, Bank the Trade. It's Tuesday, June 12th, 2018. Uh, if you're new to the room, I have a couple of indicators on my website here that uh, you can check out, um, take a look at. Got a volume label, um, a moving average label video, a spot plot indicator video about a few of the custom indicators that I have on my charts. And I have some uh, inside information about how the room works with awesome calls and a, a few how to's in there. But uh, check that out at will. Um, to the calls, it was about a $500 day. I had a, <clears throat> a goof up on a trade. Well, I don't know if it was a goof up or a uh, <clears throat> think or swim was crapping out for a couple hours and one platform froze while the other one was working and then time and sales were frozen while level two was all whacked. I'm sure you guys know about this. I trade with it also and it uh, it wasn't cool. I'm still waiting to hear back from them as far as, you know, what can you do for me with think or swim as far as doing some commission free, free trades and, you know, their customer service is pretty good. I'm not going to knock them. Uh, so if you had issues also, uh, email them, call them, whatever, and see if you can get something back from that. But on LE, um, the stock was gapping up. And I, you know, if this was either, I don't know if this was a combination of a bad entry and finger swim crapping out, but I, I didn't do well on this. Um, he's looking, AJ's looking for a gap or a pop to 27 plus and a possible pull back down to the 24 area and under. Um, to see if it gets going again. But uh, on this, I, uh, I put my short in <clears throat> and I might have been a, a minute or two late, I don't know. And things on my one platform started to do really odd things and got distracted and then it locked up. And then on this, I can't, I, I don't ask me if what I did to get out of this, but, um, Things froze and I saw a price ticking up on my phone or whatever, and I think I tried to exit it on the platform. I'm not the phone. anyway. Um, this was a major. I mean, it ended up giving back, but the move up on the high volume and not being able to see what was going on, I just exited. And I don't know if this was an actual gap down or this is where everything froze up and came back on. There were some tickers. Well, the whole platform froze eventually and then some charts were not updating while others were it was just a crap day uh for functionality on stuff like this and i who knows why i haven't looked into why it actually happened but i gave back some cash on this um but my main trade was actually a scalp in the morning on glmd glmd was putting in a pretty stiff move pre-market it was gapping up 13 bucks, and AJ's looking for a, a move to 27 or 30 to top it off and short it back down to uh, for five or 10 points. But I took this on a simple flag break in the morning and I put it on Twitter. Um, it took me all of 28 seconds, um, so I was just watching the formation here, watched a little bit of volume come in on the break right here, got in and just got out. Um, and the thing about which was really surprising was that the spread on this was only about 20 cents. Usually when stocks are up like this, um, the spreads can be horrendous of a couple dollars. But when I saw the spread of, you know, 20 cents or so, um, I just got in with 300 and got out and that was it. And as far as the move for the day, it made its way to that 27 and it faded off uh, $10 from there. So if you were able to find shorts, um, of course, you know, when platforms are freezing 23 and you have a $3 gap from when something opens to closes per platform issues, everything was kind of scary today. Uh, so I took this flag break on the entry um, and made almost $500 there. So the other play, I took some and VD uh, Nevada. So bear with me on this. Um, I had to set up the chart, but this, the purple line here is actually the comparison line for four. 
uh, NVDA and the price line here this is actually uh, the uh, one the 265 call price action right here so I was watching and I'm going to be doing this probably a little more even though these aren't on the uh, on the uh, the watch list plays but uh, NVIDIA, NVDA had a flag break going on and so I wanted to confirm it a little bit there was a lot of volume coming through here so I jumped in on the 265s um, and here's 265 way up here okay it's not even on the price axis axis okay there it is that's where it would be right there so this would be 265 so I bought these way out of the money uh, looking for some room for this to move up on the flag break I got five of the 265s for 170 and I dumped them at uh, right at about uh, two so I made about 30 cents on each one for about 150 bucks or so and looks like I, I <clears throat> excuse me I time <clears throat> I timed that pretty <clears throat> pretty well because I was watching the stock and it was topping off a little bit or what I saw was topping so I bailed out pretty much right at the top as far as the options go for the day uh, and you can see how the premium just erodes as fast as the stock moves down okay so if you're going to be trading options puts or calls you still have to bank some of these along the way because these you know these pullbacks can especially on these weekly options the premium can just erode so damn quickly you got to be smart with your money all around um i tried to get into twitter uh late in the day looking for a push I was watching this trend line break and I actually got in. I was looking for this to see if it would push <clears throat> late in the day back to the upside. Uh, it's making its way there now. It's going to be interesting how this trend line acts as resistance, but uh, I didn't want to hold anything overnight at all. I've got some options, a few options out there. There's um, still a gap on this that looks like it wants to get filled on the daily and uh, I didn't want this to trick back down on me even though it's got some this has some solid fuel in the tank so this might um, be one to watch it is going to be one to watch for a pullback I have to readjust these uh, these fib numbers because now they are wrong but um, I mean it's making its way after market uh, but I didn't want to hold anything, so that was a scratch trade right there. But that was it. For, all in all, a little bit over 500 bucks for the day. That LE trade really screwed me, but uh, it is what it is. Um, so either way, got to be smart with your money, even on the option plays. So we'll see you tomorrow. Trade smart.